They say life is stranger than fiction, and in this video, you'll get to know why they say it. We are about to present you with some incredibly strange images that defy the laws of physics, and they seem to obey some unknown forces, whether it's magic or something else. But we will solve the mystery one by one. Are you ready to question those laws that you learned in school? Here are 20 photos you won't believe aren't photoshopped. Watch out for number one, as it will blow your mind away. Number 20, Cat versus Gravity. Cats are naturally tenacious climbers, not letting anything stop them. Now look at this kitten in this image. It seems like it has some supernatural powers as it's levitating above the ground. But in actuality, it's just holding onto the armrest of the sofa with its extremely powerful nails, which act like crampons and allow it to hold on and move to almost any kind of surface. Number 19, Crossing Balloon. Look at this incredible image in which a stick is crossed through a balloon without it bursting. You might be thinking that this may be some kind of magic trick, but let us tell you the science behind. To perform this trick, you just need to inflate a balloon, grab a pointed stick in oil, then use the stick to puncture the balloon very close to the knot and it won't burst. This happens because when you inflate a balloon, the internal tension increases, but it isn't uniform, and the area close to the knot has less tension, so it can be punctured without exploding. Are you ready to surprise your friends with this trick? Number 18, Levitating Figure. Is it some kind of magic force in this picture? No, it's just a stainless steel sculpture that seems to mimic the landscape. It was made in 2013 by a British artist named Robert Mulholland, and this amazing work of art is known as Levitate Force Feld. This genius artist used stainless steel wires to vertically make it stand upright, and he placed them so perfectly that they're almost invisible at first sight. With his incredible work, Mullen sought to raise awareness about the environment's effects during times when we need to cut down trees. A sad scene to witness, right? Number 17, Incomplete Sculpture. Have you ever felt the need just to pack your bag and go for a crazy adventure? French sculptor Bruno Catalano managed to capture such feelings with his bronze statue, which is known as Le Grand Van Gogh, from a series of sculptors Les Voyageurs, or travelers who seem to be suspended in air. When you see it, you'll feel the upper part of the body is hanging in the air, or in reality, the upper body is welded to the suitcase. This statue provides a blank canvas so that viewers can imagine their own stories about what these figures might be carrying in their hand. What's your guess? Tell us in the comments down below. Number 16, an aluminum boat floating in an invisible sea. In the following clip, you can see this small boat floating in an invisible sea in the tank. The sea is invisible because it consists of an invisible gas called sulfuric hexachloride. The main characteristic of this gas is that it's five times denser than air, which causes light objects to float on it. Just like this boat made up of aluminum, and you feel as if it's sailing on an invisible sea. Number 15, Diamond. Is this a crystal balloon? No, it's a sculpture made by an artist in New Zealand named Neil Dawson. In the year 2002, for the National Gallery of Australia, the sculpture symbolizes the globe floating in space. We know you must be wondering how it's possible for the globe to be floating in the air, but when you look closely, you'll find out that this work of art is made up of aluminum and painted mesh, and it's supported by long cables, which are so thin that it's impossible to be able to see them from a distance. Number 14, floating faucet fountains. When you see these disconnecting taps, you must be wondering, what sort of magic is this that provides an inexhaustible source of magical water? But it's just an optical illusion with very clever engineering applied. The tap remains stable, thanks to support provided by a transparent tube hidden in the water splashing from the tap itself, and the water comes from below, and is pumped through a tube that is completely hidden. Ah, now everything makes sense. Number 13, floating sandcastles. These rocky structures look like a product of Arison, but they're actually sandcastles built by a man in Massachusetts. To create these incredible and crazy structures, he used discarded materials such as pieces of wood by which he built a frame that served as his base. Then, he used a classic dripping sand technique to give it its beautiful structure that it has. He gave us the message of recycling useless objects by making such wonderful structures out of Number 12, two forks, one coin, and one cup. This picture you see is not an optical illusion, rather a balance trick anyone can do. All you need to know is that the center of gravity of the forks and the coin must be on the support point of the glass to remain balanced. With the center of gravity, we mean the point at which the weight of the body is concentrated. You will have to regulate the position of the coins and the fork until you get it right. And voila, here you go. 
Number 11, Snow Roller. Who doesn't love making snowmen during the winters? We all know that when you want to make a big snowball, you just need to make a little, tiny little small one and then roll it down a hill because it picks up the snow and turns into a giant white snowball. But what about these snowball donuts? For these donuts to form, there must be a thin surface layer of wet loose snow with temperatures close to the ice's melting point. Underneath, there must be a substrate to which this surface layer does not stick, such as ice. And the wind should be strong enough to move the snow rollers, and voila! Snow donut! Number 10, traveling rocks. In this image, you can see traces behind these rocks as if they've been dragged. But these rocks can weigh up to 704 pounds, and not even the strongest man could lift them. Then how come these traces are formed? 2014, scientists from Scripps Institution of Oceanography explained what was happening in Death Valley, located between California and Nevada. They proposed that during the rainy season, the pond freezes into sheets of ice, which must be light enough to move, but at the same time, thick enough to stay strong. Then the sun starts to melt the ice, and it's fragmented into large floating panels that are pushed by light wind. At the same time, these fragments of ice push the rocks little by little and leave traces in the soft mud. Isn't that amazing? Number nine, gallium. Have you ever seen metal melting? Well, we generally think of very high temperatures when we think about melting of metals, but a person can melt a piece of metal in his hands too. This is actually a soft metal called gallium, and it can melt at temperatures as low as 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So it can melt in your hands too. Gallium is one of the most unique chemicals we know today. Although when it's in its liquid form, it looks very similar to mercury, it's not toxic to the touch, so you can have fun with it for a while watching it melt. Number 8, Coin Floating in the Water This coin which floats in a mug is a Japanese yen that is made up of aluminum and weighs just one gram. The surface tension of the water is added to the lightness of the coin, and the attraction between the water molecules is strong enough to keep the coin afloat. You can also try this with clips, pins, and needles, and you'll be surprised. Number 7, Water Jet with Own Will? Look at this water jet, we thought it was just a bad pipe, but in reality you're seeing a cruise ship sink and the inclination of the ship on the travel make it seem as if the water goes out diagonal, but it's just being attracted to the center of gravity of the earth. Number 6, Floating Layers of the Snow This incredible record of floating layers of snow among the trees was made in the Tennessee River by a German rocket scientist, Dr. George von Tessenhausen. What exactly happened is that after the surface of the water broke, the level of liquid decreased. The ice that had formed was broken, but the ice rings were made around the trees. And then, when it snowed, the snow rings were covered and creating this surreal image. It looks pretty darn cool! Number 5, Ice Growing Sideways? These icicles look like long claws about to invade a house, but it's only the sun and wind that caused this formation of ice. Generally, icicles form as hanging cones as snow melts by the heat of the sun when the dripping water freezes. In this case, the strong winds covered the drops backward where they froze. <laughs> it's a perfect Halloween decoration, except it would be in the winter for Christmas. Very scary Christmas. Number four, Balcony 2. French artist Philippe Remet defies gravity with his incredible artistic creations. In this picture, you see him sailing on a wooden structure parallel to the horizon line. This masterpiece is called Balcony 2 and was taken in Hong Kong in 2001. You think that it's photoshopped, but this is possible as he added metal support structures that helped him stay stationary. Isn't it amazing? Number three, Devil's Marbles. These huge gigantic rocks are formed in Australia, known as Carlo Carlo, which means round stone. They become round due to wind and water corrosion over hundreds of years, but the incredible thing is that they don't roll away, as they have achieved perfect balance over the other two rocks, which add to their weight and gravity, supporting even the weight of tourists. Number two, water that falls upwards. Upwards waterfalls have been seen in the Hoover Dam located on the Colorado River, which is between the state of Arizona and Nevada. The strong air currents push the water and it flows upwards and flies upwards too, defying gravity. 
Number one, wine bottle holder. This practical accessory seems to float in the air, which is because of its center of gravity. The table and the bottle both directly on the inclined floor, made by an oblique cut. There are plenty of tutorials that will guide you how to make one at home, so don't miss out on surprising your guest with a, such an incredible wine. Which one of these did you find most interesting? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.